Yo, what's up everybody, Lucas here. This video is gonna teach you how to do an air chair in only five minutes, but you gotta focus. So I can hold an air chair for really, really long. Um, so you should take advice from me. <laughs> no, not really, that was fake. But this is a five minute tutorial, so chill out. All right, so air chair is like, yo, um, it's a good finisher, good freeze. Yeah, you nail it at the end of your set, you know, reel it, lock it in. It's ultimate Instagram b-boy picture. Oh shoot, here comes a roller skater. Ah. So prereq is you're gonna wanna have upper body strength and some flexibility. If you want upper body strength and flexibility, I recommend checking out my 12-week calisthenics program, Bodyweight Beast, on sale right now at onlykindsfitness.com. But if you already have bodyweight strength, if you're like, yo dog, I just wanna do it, just cut to the chase, then we're gonna get started right here, okay? For the first whole minute, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find your dominant arm, or the arm that you wanna chair on, or do the air chair on, the freeze. What we're gonna do, the turtle freeze first. So, elbows bent, hand turned to a 90, bring it in, bring it in tight. Then, flex the abs and do the stomach like this. So, kinda reorient yourself with the turtle freeze and then what you're gonna do, is you're gonna do more of a one arm elbow lever. Hand out, turn it in, put this into the stomach, but you're gonna have your other hand down. Boom. So for the first whole minute, I want you to work on the one-armed elbow lever, the back to the basics. Now, moving on to the second whole minute. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna start to turn, okay? You're gonna start to get used to turning your hips towards the sky. But um, here's a little key point, so you don't uh, snap your rotator cuffs up because a lot of shoulder injuries happen with this movement. A lot of people, what they do is they relax into it and then they tighten up when they're in it. Now, that works for some people with like hyper flexibility, but if you're just building up flexibility and strength for this move, you wanna flex your arm and then work on the turn. And why, you're like, dude, that's counterproductive. Well, it's so you don't overexert your arm and just like rip your like super spinatus, just like bam, it's gonna be your super spaghetti after doing the air chair if you do it the wrong way. <laughs> Bad anatomy jokes. So for that second whole minute, we're gonna do flex, put it in, put it to the side, and you're gonna work on getting into that one-armed elbow lever, but you're gonna go more to a side chair, okay? Or more to a, more to pushing in your side. Don't just let your arm rest in, push out, push out, okay? Let it rest in the side, and then you can lift your legs up if you want to. Boom. For that second whole minute, skippity snap. For the third whole minute, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on turning our hips up. Get in the crab walk position like this. Then you turn your hips a little bit, put your arm out, palms facing in. Oh, grip the earth, grip the ground with your hands. Spread your surface balance out. Then you're gonna come down like this, okay? Be sure you're flexing that arm. For the first whole minute, you're gonna work on opening your chest up on, on your arm, but you're gonna keep your feet on the ground. So open the chest up for air chairs. Flex the hand, put it down. You can even start with the arm down. Then what you wanna do is bring this up like this, okay? And feel the pressure, feel the tension right here. You gotta be used to it. You gotta be uh, ready for it. Otherwise it's gonna, you know, <laughs> it's gonna be bad. Wow, scientific bro. Just taking your arm off now with your feet on. Then for the fifth minute, final whole minute, you're gonna reabsorb everything. I want you to take a break. Take a break, 30 seconds. But you only got 30 seconds left after that. Now, we're gonna commit. You're gonna commit to the air chair. You're gonna freeze. You don't have to hold it long at first until you get used to it. And then you can hold it longer and longer. Whoa, yeah, that was, there we go. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video. I got daily uploads Monday through Friday. Peace everybody, you all have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. What's up everybody, Lucas here. This video is gonna teach you how to do hand hops in five minutes. But you gotta focus.